Good evening and welcome back once again. Um, if you watched the last match, it was the second leg of the cup and it was a 10 goal thriller. 7 3, it finished in the end towards ourselves. Got through to the next round. Um, we've actually got three more league matches and then the quarter final first leg before we have a mid season break where the transfer window is. So I'm you know, really eager to get a few more wins before then, but I'm really interested to see who we might be able to buy. Um, maybe even one or two players going out as well we'll have to wait and see what offers we'll get but we'll just jump into the team selection and see which starting 11 we're going for this week so this is the 11 we're going in for this week luckily Pope and Declan Rice are back really good news on that I've actually changed the win backs so Trippier and Lewis have come in Declan Rice has slotted straight back into that defensive midfield role and we've actually got a few players on and up um, in those attacking midfielder roles so Brian Hill did so well in the last match man of the match um, but Amon's on a red so I'm going to keep him in there for this week St Maxim on the left and Joe Linton in the centre and we've got Liao and Isaac up front just looking at the bench Anderson hasn't had much game time I would like to get him on loan if possible loaned out somewhere um, he's just not getting the game time he's just not quite good enough compared to the other players we've got in similar positions um, but I'm sure he'll come in as a sub today with him being on that red condition but we'll jump into the first half see how we get on against Ajax and then um, Ajax are actually third in the league so should be some you know a, a tough opposition today um, a bit cramped here Oh, just wide from Almiron. I thought that was in. I'm going to be honest. Really enjoying playing this game again. Um, I know I've been playing it for a while now on this channel and this series, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the editing process. I don't do too many heavily edits on the matches themselves. Um, well I don't do any edits on the matches I like to play it out in full but before and after the match I do a bit of editing um, but I'm just enjoying the whole thing and it's nice to get some comments from people and there's been the odd person commenting and um, getting a fairly small amount of views but I just enjoy doing it and I like a bit of interaction now and again with some of the people that seem to enjoy it um, so I do appreciate any sort of comments and any anybody watching it I really you know, I do appreciate it um, I'm just doing this for fun, you know, I'm not doing it for a career or anything like that. Um, but it does take up a, a fair bit of my time, all the stuff I've got to do around, not just the actual playing. Um, ah, it's a poor ball, got to do better there. Probably should have taken the first touch. On the run, I mean, that was ambitious. Um, and sort of kind of scuffed it in the end there. And I'm not sure how Maxman didn't get the ball there. He just seemed to stand still. But yeah, four matches, including this one, until the transfer window. So it's not like I'm going to be making loads of signings. I haven't got the money for it, and I've got a big squad already. Um, but we're going to see who is available and what can we do to improve, you know, the first team. Um, but yeah, that number two goalkeeper spot is a definite must at some point. Doesn't necessarily have to be at this point in the season. It could be in the summer, um, but that's going to be one place we'll look at. And potentially, well, we do need a third centre back. Um, and I would love like a world class striker. You know, I'm talking like an Mbappe or a Haaland or someone like that. Um, but I'm on the ball here. Oh, good save. Good save. Oh, Isaac and the hour brilliant. I am um, maybe not consistent enough with their finishing. Oh, what a header. As I say that, and Isaac scores a wonderful header. <laughs> 
I really like playing with them. They're fast, um, pretty strong, skillful, good finishing when I'm on form. But the, I have to create sometimes too many chances to get those goals. Um, and obviously that's partly down to me as well. Mainly probably me. But if we had like a world class finisher, like a clinical finisher, you know, would that make a difference? I think it would. Um, and that might not be for a couple of seasons that we get someone of that quality. But I think Mbappe is probably the one would you would think of really at the moment. Especially with the World Cup and, and, and everything. I know when you watch this, the World Cup's probably a long distant memory. Um, and what has happened there? That's purely my fault. I brought out the keeper, didn't bring him all the way, and. What did the defender do? Oh. Yeah, that was me. Brought the keeper out, should have committed to it, or just left him there. Oh dear. Too busy talking. It's a problem like <laughs> trying to play and record is surprisingly play and record? Yeah, like you know, talk and play at the same time. Oof. It's surprisingly difficult. Mm. I mean, that was a difficult finish to pull off. So the fact that he hit it over, I'm not... Yeah. Good effort. Good effort. It's good to have Declan Rice back as well. It's a poor ball, though. I'm just jinxing things today, aren't I? Trippier there. It's not a good ball though. Nah, it's going a bit scrappy now. You know, we need to get a hold of that because. I don't like scrappy games. Certainly doesn't help my uh, my football when it goes scrappy. He's on one note. Not strong enough. He's right. Last chance of the half, maybe. Oh, there's no one there. It's a good effort, but that's half time. Then we'll just jump straight back in. Disappointed, we played so well. Um, well, at least in terms of we deserved to be leaving, and we're just letting a terrible sloppy goal, and it was all down to me. And I feel kind of bad because, you know, Pope's just come back in, and that kind of looks like it's his fault, and it was. Technically, it was, but that was me calling, you know, pulling him out from there. Uh, Time to come out and close down the uh, the attacker and then bottling it about two thirds of the way. Great save there. That's what we were missing in that 7 3. Um, was Carrius probably didn't make any mistakes per se, but some of the goals, there's no way Pope would have let them in. Um, you know, they weren't like proper clangers or anything, but just ones that I think should be saving um, or at least a keeper with a really high quality would have saved it's a poor pass and that's a poor pass as well Gets I just I was getting frustrated there, so I'll take that to be honest. You know, just bring him down. Don't let him run the whole length of the pitch. 
You have to take a yellow, take a yellow. Get a poor ball. What is going on with my passing today? Um, oh, Leo should be in here though. Come on, you can run quicker than that. Oh, I just pulled it. Try to chip him. It's a difficult finish from that angle. I'm going to make some changes now. So, mixing things up a bit. I'm actually bringing on Willock, Brian Hill and Rainer. And they're all going to play in the attack midfielder roles. And St. Maximin and Almon are actually going to be pushed up front. Um, so, let's jump in with that and see if that makes a difference. Lovely ball across, and again, there's no one there. You know, that vital area, six yard box sort of area. Seems to happen too much in this game. And I haven't seen much of the wing marks really in this game. That's a poor, well, not really a poor cross. Um, I was challenged by a defender, so probably good defending in a way. Tackle. Come on, Botman. Somehow, will it, will it keeps it? Seems to bounce favourably there. That's not who I was trying to pass to. Um, brought the keeper out just in time there. Get the tackling. No, you see it's doing that thing now where all of the the balls are bouncing back to their players and it does feel like sometimes it that scripted thing starts happening and there's not much you can do about it. Good tackle. Is that our throw though? Did it come off in? It did. Even better. Come on, let's get get this up the pitch. No, that's not who I was trying to pass to. The passing is sometimes frustrating on this game. Well, play advantage, come on. Ah. Come on. That that's not fair that. So frustrating. Literally had the ball and goes for the free kick. Uh, <laughs> don't even have words for that one. It's definitely, it's wanting them to win, I guarantee it, it's just, everything's bouncing their way. Nope. Every single tackle. I knew it, I knew it. No matter what I did, I was just flinging tackles in. Tackle them out, bounce back in one of their players. <sighs> That's about one defender in the box of mine.
Any support? No. We're losing. Anyone there? No. Ah. <sighs> well, that's our first loss of the season. I'm absolutely gutted with that. Don't think we deserve that. But again, it just went really scrappy. Um, sort of halfway through that second half there. Yeah, my trains. I mean, we lost, so my trains weren't great there. And that's it for this week, guys. Um, we're still in the first place. We're still doing well. Yes, the loss is tough, especially in the last minute. I mean, just doesn't give you any sort of room for manoeuvre, really. We had one last run at the box, but, you know, we didn't put them away. We're 1-0 up. We probably should have scored more. Didn't play that well. Don't think we'll play that badly either, but there we go. But thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this video, comment down below what you thought and any suggestions and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much. See you next time.